This morning half so clear a light as any To see the horizon and the fire Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face All that ever was is a Wax on Wednesday special project using stencil girl stencil this week. I'm super excited to be doing some botanical printing on 100% silk this time and I'm using a pre-wash soap to wash all of the impurities out of the silk. This is a 36 uh, inch silk scarf and I'll be using the extra large stencil by Trish McKinney which I'm super excited about and I'm using the jacquard cyanotype sensitizer four parts both a and b mixing them together in a bowl to get started and i am wearing protective gloves because i always do when working with chemicals and paints and also a protective clothing it's not the these chemicals are not toxic but they will stain if they get on your clothes so you want to be careful and i mix it all up in the bowl and then i'm going to add my 100 percent silk scarf to the sensitizer i have studio lights on here but you want to make sure that you do this in if not a dark area in an area with no window light. A uh, window UV light is uh, going to cause the silk once it's sensitized to begin to develop just like a photograph. And you want to keep this nice and this sort of yellowy green color because it means it's not exposing yet. So in, keep the, your project away from any window lights when you're working. And sometimes even um, house lights or studio lights can also have UV lighting in them and it may begin to expose your scarf. When I'm doing cyanotypes, I feel like it's really important to have your composition pre-done. Uh, pre so I'll often make mock pieces of my compositions before I begin so that once I sensitize uh, whatever I'm using, whether it's fabric or paper, everything is ready to go. If you don't have everything ready yet, then put it into a dark glad trash bag until you're ready to begin. Here I'm adding the beautiful stencil by Trish McKinney. I am really drawn to her stencils. All of the wispy sort of um, branches and roots and things like that go right along with my botanical printing practices at, that I use for encaustic. This is a 36 inch scarf, so I'm also adding a lot of botanicals to this, including eucalyptus leaves and some dried flowers, uh, actually dried and pressed flowers actually work better with cyanotypes. Thinly dried flowers, you can actually you see some of the veining in the cyanotypes if they have dried and pressed leaves. If they've already been pressed, then they're going to lay down better for you on your surface. So here on this one, it's very large, so I won't be putting any sort of glass or plexi over this. I'm just going to expose it naturally, and that's sometimes a lot of fun as well. So I've placed everything here on my piece, and it's January, and we're having some really wintry weather, so I'm going to be exposing this indoors with an indoor UV light. And that way you also get a chance to see the different stages that this piece goes through. It started out a really bright sort of yellow green color and you can still sort of see that underneath the leaves. And as the UV light exposes this sensitized fabric, it will turn a deep rich Prussian blue.
So as you can see on this piece, it came out a beautiful ombre where the stencil is and it's very soft and sort of fades right into the leaves, which is really beautiful, but I want to, and it's going to work really beautiful for a scarf to wear, but I want this piece to have a little bit bolder area where the stencil is. I want it to be really white because I want to incorporate this whole piece into an encaustic painting. And once I add the wax to it, that just won't show up. So about halfway into exposing this piece, my daughter said, we should have it paint, spray painted this stencil black. It's tr too translucent and the UV light is showing through the stencil. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do a second piece and I really do love this first piece. It came out beautifully, but for the project that we had in mind, it needs to be just a little bit bolder. So we're going to go ahead and spray paint that stencil black with just some some regular black spray paint and it's going to create an opaqueness to the stencil that the UV light can't show through. So here's the stencil after it's been spray painted. It has an opaqueness that the UV light won't be able to penetrate and that way we'll get a bolder image when we recreate this scarf. The scarf's going to be, second piece is going to be recreated exactly like the first and then mounted to a 36 inch long board that's been painted with encaustic wax and Damar resin and also stained with a natural walnut ink to help complement that beautiful blue tones in the cyanotype.